Today we'll be playing through this old Filmo sound amplifier. These were originally intended to be used with a film projector, but they also work pretty great with the guitar. This particular one is all stock as far as I can tell, and that's not necessarily a good thing. I'm sure there's components in here that should be changed out, but I haven't gotten around to it yet. And I've been playing it a bit just as it is. The tubes are two 6v6s, a 5y3, and the other two, this one's a 6j7, and this one I think is a 6sl7. The only thing that I've done to it is to remove the tube that was here in the front right corner, and then one that was back here. I think those were just for the film projecting functions, so I took them off. And I added the bread pan, which I'll explain later. And we can take a look inside. And there's a lot going on in there. And I am playing it through the original speaker cabinet. It's one 12 inch speaker. We can take a look in the back. The speaker is an old Jensen, 12 inch. And the speaker jacks on the back of the head are a little unusual. It's not the traditional quarter inch jack that we're used to now. And it's got this special connector. I've tried both of these jacks, by the way, and I don't notice any difference between them. So I just took this original cord and put a quarter inch jack on one end. And then I plug this into there and then this goes to the speaker. And the speaker also has a jack like the head on it. And yes, I do have the original two prong power cord on it, which I know I should probably change. So let's hear how it sounds. Actually, I should explain the bread pan first. This is what happens when you take it off. It gets really noisy. So I think what it's doing is shielding that tube that it's laying over. There's probably a better way to do this, but for now, this is working for me. So far we've been listening to the guitar plugged straight into the amp with no pedals. But sometimes with this amp I like to use a compressor pedal and just set for some very subtle compression. Not so much so that it sounds overly compressed, but it just pushes the amp nicely and smooths things out.
there you have it. Stay tuned for more videos on this amp as I do some work to it. I do really like the way it sounds now, but um, I had the tone control all the way up for the whole video. And even with it all the way up, sometimes it sounds a little bit dark to me, especially on cleaner settings. And at the very least, I should probably change out some of the old capacitors and the power cord. So stay tuned for updates. And thanks for watching.